I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sports today, there'll be boys soccer and track and field at 415 and there'll be baseball at Hillwood at 445. Happy birthday today to Gracie Cook and Asanetta Sequat. There will be quiz bowl practice tomorrow morning starting at 745. One thing about me is I love studying all of the different cultures throughout time. And today, I have a cool video on culture about what is Ramadan. Since the beginning of time, people have celebrated in many different ways for many different reasons. And that is where today on Fresberg Culture, we are going to talk about Ramadan. First off, like many people celebrate the month of December for Christmas with giving and being charitable, Ramadan is a time of giving, healing, and being charitable too. Many who follow Islam do this because of the Prophet Muhammad. Like the Prophet Muhammad, many follow his actions during this month because they said he gave even more during Ramadan. In Islam, when looking to celebrate the holiday, the standard calendar that we use to tell dates are different. That's right. Islam uses a purely lunar calendar of 12 months. What that means is the start of each month is determined by the timing of the new moon. Just like many other holidays fall during certain times of year, Ramadan falls during the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and lasts for a month. This goes back as far as 600 AD. Although you may have never heard of Ramadan, that doesn't mean it's not big. For example, over 1 billion Muslims around the world celebrate Ramadan each year. One thing that really stands out about Ramadan is those who celebrate Ramadan don't eat when the sun is out. That's right. They fast from the first light of dawn until the sun goes down and many Muslims don't eat or drink anything. This is done because it allows those who celebrate Ramadan and Islam to focus. That is definitely a long time to go without food though. But in places like Egypt, they shorten the days by adjusting the time to have shorter days and longer nights. Kind of like when we do our time change here in the United States in the winter time, and we have shorter days and longer nights. Now, one question you might ask is, what about the people who might get sick if they don't eat all day? For those who must eat during the daytime, it is okay for them to eat, but each day during that month, they have to feed someone who is less fortunate. Another interesting thing about Ramadan is those who celebrate really focus on their family and make a lot of promises. That is right, for Ramadan, many family members promise not to tell any lies, not to gossip, and not to be greedy during the Ramadan month. Well, that is all from me on Welcome to Fresburg. I really hope you enjoyed learning about what is Ramadan and how many Muslims around the world celebrate each year. Hello, my name is Takari King and today is Thankful Thursday. Today, Mrs. Ginsburg is thankful for her PLT. She says, when I returned from my break, my room was a dusty, crazy mess from construction. They instantly offered to clean, dust, sweep, and vacuum every surface of my room. The best part was that they saw a problem and Joyful stepped into help with no plan to get something in return. They are wonderful. 
Miss, Mrs. Smith says, I am thankful for my PLT. They're an amazing group of students. They are very bright and funny and keep me on my toes. Miss Kramer says, I am grateful for my membership with Orange Theory Fitness. Being able to move my body and improve my physical performance benefits comprehensive health. Anonymous says, I am thankful for Miss Roden. She is always helping, cracking jokes about her tech savviness, a loyal friend, and amazing teacher. I am thankful for my sister, says Lila Autry. Brody Payne says, thankful for the drummer Tyler Hawkins, rest in peace. Ori says, I am thankful for my friends who are always there for me and always make me laugh when I am sad. Norval says, thank you for Kaylin, Jaleo, Riley, Dakaria, Lala, Nishaya, Exo, Noor, Ms. Schaefer, and Kennedy for always being great friends and making me laugh and bringing joy to my day. Another person says, I'm thankful for Ms. Getz. She is so supportive of our GSA students. Um, another person says, I'm thankful for Mrs. Irwin and all the support she gives teachers who are working to help students get better at math. Someone else says, I'm thankful for Ms. Waters. Somebody else is thankful for the people that go out of their way to do something kind. Someone else says, I am thankful of all of my best friends in this school. And somebody else <laughs> says she's thankful for Genesis because she is a great friend, very funny, and she also has the biggest heart. She also has funny stories about her crazy cat. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Good morning, Bellevue Middle School. Miss Karima here. We have some exciting things coming up for the month of April. We have two attendance initiatives. The first one is Strive for 95, and that is where we want the entire school to get 95% of attendance um, whole school-wide. So what does that mean? Come to school every day in April so that we can achieve our goal of 95. And if we can get 100, that would be so much better, but at least get to 95%. Um, the classroom that has the best attendance each week on Tuesday, uh, it's a Philly thing. Food truck will provide food for that classroom. And so you can come out, get you some food off the food truck and sit outside and just enjoy the weather. And that will be every single Tuesday. And then also in the cafeteria, I'm going to be bringing back the wheel. So on Wednesdays, if I call your name, you've been to school, you can come spin the wheel and that'll just be a couple of students, but you have to be here in order to spin the wheel. And then also teachers will be rewarded. Every Friday we'll spin a wheel and teachers can win things. So this is a whole school effort to reach that 95%. And I think that we can do a Bellevue. The second goal or the second initiative that we have is called fuel for school and that is going to help your parents so if you come to school all week your parents are going to be um, put into a drawing where they can get a $50 gas card and we all see that gas is going up 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 so come to school help your family get some gas cards help your um, homeroom win some food <sighs> we are almost at the end come to school. If you know somebody that's not coming to school, call them, tell them, hey, get to school. There's some fun stuff going at Bellevue. You guys have an awesome day.
morning, my owls. Today's not the day's. Opportunity does not come gift wrapped. You must take risks. Bye. I hope everyone has a great day.